to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Ivy and I have decided to go to a all-you-can-eat hot pot restaurant called Cho Cho located along Kingsway Burnaby. with this video I want to say thank you so much to Anna Luisa for sending me these beautiful pieces of jewelry to help me complete the look for today so let's take a look at the packaging so I was so stunned with the packaging because these four pieces of jewelry are made of fabric for the coverings that is eco-friendly and sustainable for the environment we will first take a look at the first pair that I have tried on in advance. So as you can see here, these are super stunning. This one is called the Tuda. It's the color silver for the hardware. They also have the color gold as well if you want that option. I love how there's bling on the side. As well, it's super elevated for your wardrobe too. I wouldn't imagine myself wearing hoops but these hoops are great and what I love about it, it's tarnish free too so you can wear it in the shower and everything I'm going to move on to the second one uh, for the pairs of earrings so we will take a look at that these are super easy to take off you just need to open the top and they will snap out and then you can just easily pull it out from your ears so here is the second packaging I really love these earrings because it has a nice floral print to it, as you can see. So this one has bling as well too, but except having the silver hardware, there's a gold size. This one is called a Debbie. It's only um, offered in one size, so there's nothing bigger than this option here. So I'm going to have a try with these pairs of earrings. I find it super cute and dainty how small these earrings are and super easy to slide it in your ears too. I'm more used to wearing these types of styles here because my whole entire uh, jewelry collection is more like closed, not open hoop earrings. But you can tell it's super cute with the petals that just reminds me of a floral look. And this one, it matches with any types of wardrobes that you want to wear. So this is one of my all-time favorites that they have in this collection called the Debbie. I'm going to move on to the third item that we have for the last pair of earrings that they have sent. So the third pair right here are the Frida. So this is what we can see. I really like how they have the pearls dangling on the side. It just gives that nice classy look to your wardrobe. So I'm just going to give it a try. 
So this is actually a big new change for me because I never consider wearing myself hoops. I'm usually a, a girl who likes to wear closed earrings or something hanging on the side of my ears too, which I can't recall what they are called. But let's give it a try for this pair here. I'm just going to have a closer look just to see and how to wear. So it's super simple. So I'm just going to clip this in. Now I'm going to give this other pair a try too. So I'm just going to give a close look the other ear too. Where? Just having a hard time because <laughs> I'm trying to show how to wear these earrings without a mirror but I'm using my phone set as the mirror. I think I got it in the hole. Yes, I did! Amazing. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to snip it in, which is already snipped, and look at that! So, this one, once again, is called the Frida. It's super classy. I'm just amazed how these hoops are so amazing. Like, look at that! Wow! Who is she? Okay, so this one, I absolutely adore, but i rather wear it with, like, types of dresses because it's more of like a classy look but let's move on to the final product which is the necklace right here so the necklace packaging is different compared to the earrings it's like the color turquoise for the earring packages but this one is like a nice beige cream color so here is there is two pieces for the necklaces. This is called the Willow. It also offers in the color gold, but I decided to get it in silver. Just gonna open this packaging here. I love this type of necklace because it's super uh, casual, nothing too blingy to wear. And plus you can style it into two different ways. Either you can wear one piece or you can wear the other piece if you wish. So now we'll open this. I'm going to start off with this circular piece here, as you can see. Okay, the circular piece is a longer piece for the jewelry. And I believe you have like different choices to wear the necklace. It can be long, short, up to your choice. So let's give it a try. Okay, so actually there's actually three types of hoops where you can change the length. This is the shorter length, the middle length, and like more of a longer length right here. And I'm gonna try it maybe on the second length. Let's see here. I'm not used to wearing necklaces because I rarely wear necklaces. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> I'm going to wear it the other way where I'm gonna see like the three sizes for the necklaces. So please bear with me. Okay, so here I can take a look. Hmm. So I'm gonna go for the middle one here. I'm going to clip this here. Okay, perfect. So I'm done that. Now I'm just gonna face the circular one here. Oh my goodness. You can technically wear this bag on its own as I mentioned before, but it's like super great and cute. Look at this. Oh, I love how it's super simple to wear. You can wear it on a nice fall day season or like a cute trench coat or like this type of top here but that's how it looks like so i'm going to move on to the second piece as well too so 
so this piece is pretty cute with the beads on the side. I am just amazed on how great the product is. And especially the style. Once again, these styles are not like the typical styles I would usually wear. So this is like a new change for me. Okay. Finally, I got this opened and as you can see the necklace, it just reminds me of like a choker necklace, which is more close top with the necklace. Um, so there's only like three links once again, as you can see here. So I'm just going to start opening this up. I want to face the neck <laughs> the part where I need to clip it on towards me so I can have an easier look for myself. Maybe I'll just do it on the last part because I did the other one in the second part. So hopefully the last part will work. Hmm, it's probably too long for me. So I'm just going to alternate it by doing it on the, possibly the first part instead. Oops. Okay, finally I got that on. So this is the smaller area. I'm just gonna turn this necklace around. And this is how it looks with the two piece. I really like it because it's super casual and it just elevates the look once again. Like instead of having one simple necklace, you have like something to layer on. Nowadays you want to layer on your um, jewelry to make it more stood out and everything, but I'm just amazed how cute these pair looks. Whether you want to wear any color, it just easily matches. Depends on your complexion too, because I feel like I'm a silver girl, that's why I prefer wearing silver. But I'm just absolutely amazed how gorgeous these are. Oh, okay. Once again, if you want this type of necklace, this one's called the Willow. And I 100% will say, if you want to take a look at this uh, shop, this is called Ana Luisa. They offer affordable price starting at $39. I live in Canada. They don't offer free shipping, but it's pretty affordable to ship over. So if you want to check their, their social media, it's called Ana Luisa NY. And you can also search them on TikTok as well too. So I'm just gonna wear this for today. And I'll probably just change it to the W earrings because I feel like it might match out much better earlier, but we'll see. So please come and join me and see what we are going to eat for today. When I first arrived at the location in Burnaby, we had to find parking and most areas didn't offer free parking. Luckily for Chocho, their restaurant offers free parking for two hours, which is in the back of the store where the entrance is on Wilson Avenue. The only parking spots that we can find are outside parking because the indoor parking is reserved for other corporations. Once you are in the restaurant, you will need to scan a QR code. Now let's get ready to go to the restaurant. The walk to Chocho Hot Pot was not far and took at least 5 minutes. This restaurant opens at various hours and we decided to go on a weekend which was a Saturday and they open from 11am to 1am. Weekends are always the busiest so we decided to make a reservation in advance on their website around 3pm.
This location is an all-you-can-eat hot pot, and as you can see on the sign from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., the price will be $48.99 for each person. After 9 p.m., they have happy hour, and prices will be reduced to $39.99 a person. This restaurant is kid-friendly and costs $19.99 per child. The limit you can stay to eat is 2 hours, and let's take a look inside. Once I stepped into the restaurant, I was amazed at the decor. There was a round piece of artwork that was shiny and had a light bulb shine behind it. Going in the entrance, there was a greeter that would ask if you made a reservation or walked in. I told her that we made a reservation and she looked through the iPad to confirm and we waited to be seated. This location was originally the dollar shop but was rebranded to Chocho. This cuisine offers an elevated hot pot experience with a beautiful interior design. I like how simple and classy it looks with the neutral colors. Once you enter, there will be a QR code that you can scan with your device to type your license plate on the electronic platform. The greeter seated us to our table and they showed us an iPad on what you can order. The first page was the drinks. If you don't want to drink only water, you can add an extra cost which is $2.99 per person for all you can drink. The drinks they offer are Granny Recipe Plum Juice, Classic Creamy Soy Milk, and Taiwanese Traditional Technique Milk Tea. There is a second page for drinks which is not unlimited but is charged for each drink you choose. These are more of the elevated drink options that are fruity, pop, and many different flavors that range from $2.99 to $4.99. These are not bad for the price and are affordable. There is an alcohol menu and prices range from $6.99 to $158. This can be priced ranging from different types of brands of alcohol and if you want an entire big bottle, those will cost more not including tax. To get started with the order, you will need to choose which broth you would like to order. The all-you-can-eat price is included with the broth, so you do not need to worry about additional charges. There are many options which are pork broth, tomato broth, and spicy broth. If you want a broth that has two different flavors, you can try for which were spicy broth and pork broth, or spicy broth and tomato broth. And their newest addition is the pork broth and tomato broth. They do offer vegetarian options, which is a veggie broth made with different types of boiled vegetables and seasonings. In the meat section, the best choice was the boneless short plate and flat iron beef. Other options were the ribeye, New Zealand lamb shoulder, pork belly, boneless chicken leg, and the newly added to their menu, the chuck eye roll. If you find their meat too basic, they do offer premium meat for additional costs which range from $9.99 to $54.99. Most options are different premium beef, wagyu, and shrimp price. I can't forget the vegetarian and vegan option which offers these vegetable paste forms into seafood items such as shrimp and crab sticks. At the end of the menu, they have an appetizer that is the signature chef fried noodles that you can order and can be self-served in their station with other appetizers. They present other locations for the dollar shop that are not all you can eat, but are a unique experience. If you are curious what's the difference between Chocho Cho Hot Pot and the dollar shop, you can find the video and watch the dollar shop located in Richmond that is on my channel. At the end of a menu, they have a section that shows friendly reminders and if you click on any of these pages, you can see further information if you are allergic to any types of food. Before getting started with the tour, I have to show you around the table where we were seated. It was elevated with a three-tier stand that is meant for orders of extra meat, seafood, or other items. They would provide a glass jar with lemon water and a side of fruits. On that day, we had cantaloupe as our appetizers. On the bottom, there is a knob where you can control the heat once your broth comes out. 
On the side of the table, they have a drawer if you need extra napkins. This is what we have decided to order. We wanted to order all you can drink for an extra $2.99 for each person. The drinks were classic creamy soy milk and Taiwanese traditional technique milk tea. I decided to order the spicy broth and pork bone broth and my friend ordered the spicy broth and tomato broth. When you double check everything and you are sure to place that order, you can click the top right corner to place the order. After ordering, I decided to go to the sauce bar. This bar is amazing and there are many options to choose from. If you are new to Hot Pot, they have their sauce recipe to make with step-by-step -step instructions. There are sauces and different condiments that you can mix. On the top of the counter, they have their appetizers such as peanuts, kimchi, and edamame. It's time for me to make the sauce and I decide to make it my way. The sauces I chose were soy sauce, a little bit of sacha sauce, chopped green onions, chopped cilantro, and bits of garlic. Then I moved on towards adding dried shrimp paste, oyster sauce, beef sauce, peanut sauce, a little bit of the dollar shop chili oil, extra chopped green onions, and more soy sauce. Moving on to the dessert bar, they have a DIY Chinese dessert section where you can choose different sliced fruits, jellies, and syrups. They also have chopped fruits such as sliced watermelon and apple cubes on the side. After the dessert bar, one of the most important sections is the items to put in your broth. Here they offer many types of protein such as cuttlefish balls, pork balls, beef balls, fish balls with roe, spam, pork blood, beef artery, fish tofu, imitation crab stick, codfish, South American shrimp, and mussels. If you are not sure how long you should cook these items you have chosen, there are instructions on how many seconds or minutes you should be cooking these items. Besides protein, we need to have a balance of vegetables in the diet. They offer tong ho, cabbage, lettuce, and spinach. After the veggies, we have a variety of items such as quail eggs, hot pot sweet potato noodles, bean curd, fried tofu, and soft tofu. On the side, if you don't want to eat something besides hot pot, they prepared cooked dishes such as signature chef fried noodles, beef curry, fried buns, deep fried sesame balls, deep fried wontons, and twisted donuts. The selection doesn't stop from here. They have more items to offer to put in your hot pot such as seaweed knots, fried bean curd, sweet corn, wood ear mushroom, bamboo shoots, winter melon, shiitake mushroom, 
lotus root, enoki mushroom, and taro. The noodles they have are handmade, colorful noodles and instant noodles. On the side, there were plates where you could put the items you chose and bring them to your table for your hot pot. After taking a look at the amazing options, I'm making my way grabbing the items that I feel like I want to eat. After coming back to the table with the desired items I had picked, the broth, meat, and drinks came out from the orders we had placed on the iPad. The meat was nicely placed on the table and I was excited to give it a try. I had all the meat in front of me, so I had to place each of them into two different types of broth. I can't forget to make a balanced meal with some of my veggies such as tongho and add it with more protein. Now all the items have been boiled, we will wait until it's fully cooked. Most items were fully cooked so I started with a spicy broth and took out the items. Was super hot because it came straight out of the pot. I decided to blow the fish balls with bro and took a bite. I was captivated by the flavors, how soft the texture was to bite and the spices. At first I was worried about the broth being too spicy to eat. To my taste, it wasn't as spicy as I thought because I might be used to eating a lot of spiciness. I can't forget to eat the piece of spinach. Even though it's a small piece, I can still feel the steam coming towards me, so I blew on the piece. Every vegetable they offered looked fresh and tasted amazing. Moving on to the beef, it was nice and tender. It was nicely sliced to a thin layer that helps absorb the broth better. The potato noodle tasted thick with a lot of absorption of the spicy broth. I could feel the spiciness kicking in after finishing eating these pieces, so I had to open the paper straw and drink the Taiwanese milk tea. The drink was not too sweet and fit with my likings. After having a break while drinking my milk tea, I had to continue cooking, so I gradually put the items in my hot pot, but with additional new side items. After everything was cooked, I took it out of the broth.
I couldn't explain how happy I was to devour the food. I was too focused on eating because the flavors were amazing in my mouth. It was a cold day and was perfect to eat something warm that would please my appetite. I was close to being full and couldn't forget to add in the artificial vegetables that were supposed to mimic the taste of seafood. I was curious of giving these a try and then I had to add more items along the way while the artificial vegetable based seafood was cooking. When the artificial seafood was done cooking, I placed it on my plate. When I took a bite, it was interesting. The items were very chewy, but they didn't taste like seafood to me. It had a sweet taste with a variety of vegetables mixed in. These were not my favorite, but an interesting experience by giving them a try. I can't forget to end it off with their handmade noodles. I decided to choose the color green because I only saw two left. After fully cooking it, I took it out and placed it on my plate. It was nicely long and I had an enjoyable time eating it. The texture was chewy and the taste was fresh. At the end of the day, I had to go make my dessert. Here, I'm finding a small dish to put the ingredients in. If you want to follow instructions on how to make it, there is directions on the top right glass. I'm just going with my feelings, so I started with the iced jelly, pomelo, chopped grapes, chopped mango, fermented rice water, red beans, taro sweet potato balls, highland barely juicy pearl, and coconut jelly. There are different types of nuts if you want to add a crunch to your dessert, but I decided to skip that part. I went in with a flavored sauce such as light cheese syrup. I'm done pairing the dessert items. Let's go back to the seat and have a taste test. Giving this a try, it tasted amazing in the mouth and helped cool down the spiciness I ate earlier. There were different flavors mixed in with the fruits, jellies, and syrups, which were a nice combination for me. In the end, they offer you ice cream before paying for the bill. The flavor we had was vanilla ice cream with a crunchy waffle cone. The ice cream was soft and creamy and ended my day putting a bright smile on my face. The bill came out to be $109.16 for two people. Each person had to pay $54.58. I would say it is a lot cheaper compared to going to a hot pot place that would charge for each dish you ordered. The experience with the staff members was very nice and the quality of the food was amazing to me. If you are ever craving for hot pot or want to give this place a try, Chocho Hot Pot is located at 4361 Kingsway number 4A in Burnby, BC, Canada. That's the end of the video and thank you so much for those who watched this whole entire video. Just a special thank you to Anna Louisa for sending me these beautiful packagings of jewelry. If you guys are interested in looking through their website, the link is in the description box. And if you were to be interested in having additional discount, you can use the code IBVO20 for an additional 20% off because who doesn't love discounts? I can say I do. If you guys like more content like this, please like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.